All right, finally, a blind contour drawing. Notice how I am holding my pencils. Notice how I'm holding them. I'm gonna draw with my pencils in the same manner because it's gonna be really easy to get myself an expressive line. For instance, when you write, you hold your pencil in this manner, right? You hold your pencil and then you write, maybe most of you write like that, right? Um, but check this out. I wanna use my pencil in this different manner. I wanna use my pencil in this way that's gonna give me an expressive line. It's gonna allow my arm and my wrist to move because when we really draw, we draw with our, we draw with our wrist and our forearm and our shoulder and our, and our upper arm as well. So I wanna be able to move across the paper. So one of the best ways is if you hold your hand in this manner, sorry, uh, left-handed people, place your pencil here and then move it towards the tips, right? Move it. And so this is how it looks on the outside and this is how it looks on the inside. I wanna be able to move it and flow across. Watch. So you wanna move slowly. Now what we're doing, we're doing a blind contour. And just like your contour drawing, right? Just like your contour drawing, you wanna make sure that you go slower than I am, right? And you want to be able to look at those edges. You're trying to make a continuous line, but we're doing a blind contour, right? So with the blind contour, what are we doing? We're not looking at the paper. We're not looking at the paper. We're only looking at the object that we are drawing. We don't care. We want to move. And then if we press hard, we can also make light, harder lines. And of course, if we press lighter, we can make some nice light lines. And so that's a blind contour. That's pretty fast, you might say, right? You've heard me say, that's too fast. You want to go slower than I am. You want to go slow. Once you find your spot on here, and then you just draw the same sheet of paper for your two drawings or your three drawings. Don't use up a lot of paper, okay? Because these are exercises that we have. They're exercises, that's all, right? They're teaching us how to use line, but this exercise, just like contour, is teaching us how to look at the thing, how to look at the thing. Okay, so that's my blind contour drawing. Yes, it is my blind contour drawing. Now let's try a different material. Here's another one. I got a flatter situation right here. I'm gonna draw right on top of this because um, again, it's about, it's about the movement. It's about learning to use your tool in a different manner. It's about paying attention to what the tool is doing. And then you have an assignment with this blind contour, which is what? You have to talk about how you feel, right? Because like I said before, you're gonna have some feelings. So you get to talk about them with your classmates. Oh, teacher's crazy. She didn't want me to look at the paper. I felt really nervous. Okay, again, you're going slower than me. This is just a demonstration on number one, how to do blind contour. Number two, how to hold your tool. Okay, and so you're gonna be holding your tool in this manner. Try holding your tool because you can see I can do all kinds of things. Now, you know, once you start to use this, this type of technique of holding your tool, it's gonna to make like I said, free flowing drawings, preliminary studies. Uh, it's gonna make it really easy for you because you can move around your paper and, and it, it's also gonna give you some expressive lines, okay? So again, make sure you read the assignment very carefully and know you do not look at the piece and it's gonna be really easy. If it's looking perfect, if it looks like the object, you have to convince me <laughs> that 
you didn't look at the at, look at the object, but you can tell from the lines. Okay, so enjoy this assignment, blind contour.